What is going on, everybody? I am the original gamer, Steve Stro. Oh. And what are we looking at here today? Well, we're looking at probably one of the most memorable and iconic games from the arcades from the early 80s. This is Centipede by Atari. And what we're looking at here is you and your dude. You are this little um, gun shooter thing here. You kind of look like a lizard head. And you are shooting a centipede that's approaching at you. Centipede starts from the top of the screen, works his way down. Centipede starts off as a large, uh, fully connected uh, piece of segments, but when you shoot a piece of the centipede, it will break into a smaller centipedes and smaller segments and eventually get as small as a single centipede head. And it's these little tiny ones that are actually hard to get. And um, you also have this annoying spider here that's messing with you. You can kind of move up and down a little bit. You can move up. Oh, I just got killed. And when you get killed, it kind of clears the playing field and you start over. So you see we've got a full-bodied centipede now. He's already broken into three pieces. And um, you're doing your best to shoot. You do have rapid fire, so you can just hold down your shot button and just keep shooting. In the original arcade, this was played with a roller ball, a track ball that you use to kind of spin around and roll around to move yourself around. Um, being in true Atari fashion, Atari is notoriously famous for incorporating lots of color, lots of sound, and really good music in their games. So Atari games were always a treat for the eyes and the ears. You know, the sound effects that they had, very iconic, very memorable. This shot sound here of me shooting, that shot sound was used on a lot of other games too. I believe it was similar to what was used in Tempest. Um, you know, so it's just like some of these sounds are just so memorable and um, just a fun, fun game. Like in most of the games of the time, it was never ending. It's just a monotonous, repetitive assault on your senses and you will eventually die. And so like most of the original coin operated arcade games, they usually cost about a quarter. On average, you got about three lives or three tries to do the best you could. And what the game would do is it would re reward you over time where you could get bonus lives by reaching certain benchmarks of score. So like right now, I'm somewhere up in the 12,000 point range. And so, you know, you had three lives, but after like every 10,000, 20,000 points, so you just heard that music there, so it was actually 12,000. So in this case here, by reaching 12,000, I just earned a, an additional life here. Um, but this was just a fun, fun, fun game. This game inspired a lot of other games that were kind of look-alike and play-alike games. A lot of home versions were either um, officially licensed and converted to home computers and home consoles. A lot of home computers had generic knockoffs and these things too, kind of clones of the game. But this game here, Centipede, such a fun game. I just died. And, you know, that was the other thing. In the arcade, your whole thing was this. You didn't win the game. There was no ending to the game. So your whole mission in life was to get the best possible score and, you know, make the leaderboard. How do we get to a blank letter? Is there a blank here? I'm trying to put up OG for my initials here. So your claim to fame was just getting those initials up on the leaderboard. And you can see here I'm uh, about third down. I'm OG. I'm in about third place. So... You know, just fun, fun game. Let's try it one more time, and let's see if I can get a little bit higher on the leaderboard. And the thing about Atari that was great, I mentioned, is just a lot of color, a lot of sound. The thing that changed about this game, while well, the game itself didn't change, your playing field did not change, each time you made it to a new level, they changed the colors. They kind of changed the color palettes and, and um, kind of recolorized the screen just to give you a sense of, of difference. You know, like right now, I'm shooting green mushrooms and my centipede is green. Once I clear this round and I make it to another round, it's still the same game. It's still the same screen, but it is a different colored screen. And that was your sense of change and sense of difference. And so it was kind of a visual cue that something had changed in the game. And Atari's technology was just allowed it to have so many colors on screen. If I'm not mistaken, most of these games were able to display at the time 256 colors on screen, which was pretty impressive because not all, all of the home systems could quite do that, especially some of the earlier home computers. They were limited in how many colors they could display. 
I know my first computer that was called the Radio Shack Color Computer, it can only do like four colors at a time. So to be able to do 256 colors is uh, pretty impressive. Uh, of course, by today's standards, that's, you know, the games now look like real life. It's just, it's a whole different world. But back then, we counted every little feature we could get. We counted colors, we counted graphics, we color, we counted how many things were on the screen. Everything we saw, we, we kind of appreciated as being a, a cool feature to have. Another thing this game will do here is just if you keep messing around and you're not finishing the level, they'll keep adding more heads down here and they'll keep throwing in more centipede segments until they just keep assaulting me, man. It just, uh, it's like, oh my god, give me a break here. Uh, you know, I'm trying to get to another round here and just find some more color. And these stinking dudes, man, they're just messing with me. So, um, the other thing I was going to say is, besides changing color, which I didn't get a chance to show you, was that um, future levels would introduce more enemies on the screen, more different types of enemies. So, see, now the, the, the mushrooms just changed to kind of purple, right, magenta colored. Um, so, in addition to the centipede being your primary enemy, there would be other bugs that would come across the screen. One of those bugs was called a scorpion, and he would travel, and see this guy here that's falling, that's the flea. I think that's the flea. The flea that falls, he, he does two things. Number one is he re-plants um, mushrooms on his way down, but you can also shoot him for points. So the flea was one of your extra um, obstacles. There's a bug that's called a scorpion. The scorpion would travel across the screen horizontally, and then what he does is he would end up tainting all the mushrooms that he hits. Those are called poisonous mushrooms, and if a centipede head hits a poisonous mushroom, it immediately becomes a kamikaze and dive bombs right down to you. Another thing you see here is the centipedes start getting a heck of a lot faster, you know? It's just the game is basically saying, oh, you're still here? You're still playing? Okay, well, let's do something about that. Let's make this game more impossible for you to play. <laughs> you know, it's just absolutely insane. So, um, ah, see, there he is. There's my scorpion. And so uh, you can shoot him for extra points, but now that he has tainted those mushrooms and we have those poisonous mushrooms, um, you're gonna see the next round, if I can survive that long, that these centipedes are gonna start dive bombing me like crazy now. So as soon as the centipede does that, they dive bomb. And sometimes you can get lucky and you can take them out really quickly, but you're not always that lucky. Spider, spider, oh, spider got me. Oh my god, so there you have it. Oh my god, I'm exhausted. I am actually worn out. I'm physically and mentally drained from that. It is, it's a tough game, man. It really is. It is a tough, stinking game. But that was it. That was Centipede. Such a classic, iconic game. This game has launched uh, sequels, it's launched clones, it's launched, you know, uh, a whole lot of other games that were inspired by this. And I never beat that score. I never beat my third place score. But you can kind of see here that the, um, you know, the colors would change, the game would get harder. They keep throwing stuff at you. They're just like determined to make you lose. So you lose your money and you put more money in and you keep playing and gosh darn it, we did it. We did it. We, we pumped in millions if not billions of dollars worth of quarters into these machines um, back in the day. And the good thing now is that you can buy this whole collection of 100 games for, you know, 10 or $20 and play them on your computer and not have to keep putting the quarters in there. They're still as hard to play, but they will actually save you money because it, I, I've already blown through like a dollar, dollar fifty trying to do this. So the game is going to pay for itself eventually. So, yeah, this was it. This was the original Centipede arcade game as brought to us by the uh, Tari Vault uh, computer collection that you can play on your personal computers at home. I have have been the original gamer Stevie Stro. Why am I here? I am here for your entertainment and I play video games on YouTube and I talk about video games and I just talk about stuff and I actually never shut up if you haven't noticed. Uh, so um, yeah, so it's really a lot of videos about this uh, guy running his big fat mouth with a video game in the background is probably the best way to describe my channel. But I hope you did like this video. I hope you did, uh, you know, if you do come back and watch some more, if you did like it, give it a like, give it a big fat thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, then please hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. I'd also appreciate it if you could share this video with your friends, share my channel with your friends, help me grow the audience. And if there's something you'd like to say, throw out a comment and let me hear it. And I'll see y'all next time. Thank you for watching. <laughs> That's all, folks. Keep on gaming. Peace out and bye-bye, everybody.